Genesis chapter 3 The beginning of sin The snake was the most clever of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made The snake spoke to the woman and said Woman did God really tell you that you must not eat from any tree in the garden The woman answered the snake No we can eat fruit from the trees in the garden but there is one tree we must not eat from God told us you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. You must not even touch the tree or you will die. But the snake said to the woman, you will not die. God knows that if you eat the fruit from the tree, you will learn about good and evil and then you will be like God. The woman could see that the tree was beautiful and the fruit looked so good to eat. She also liked the idea that it would make her wise so she took some of the fruit from the tree and ate it her husband was there with her so she gave him some of the fruit and he ate it then it was as if their eyes opened and they saw things differently they saw that they were naked so they got some fig leaves sewed them together and wore them for clothes During the cool part of the day the Lord God was walking in the garden the man and the woman heard him and they hid among the trees in the garden the Lord God called to the man and said where are you the man said i heard you walking in the garden and i was afraid i was naked so i hid the Lord God said to the man who told you that you were naked to eat fruit from that special tree i told you not to eat from that tree The man said the woman you put here with me gave me fruit from the tree so i ate it then the lord god said to the woman what you have done she said the snake tricked me so i ate the fruit so the lord god spoke to the snake you did this very bad thing so bad things will happen to you it will be worse for you than for any other animal you must crawl on your belly and eat dust all the days of your life I will make you and the woman enemies to each other your children and her children will be enemies you will bite her child's food but he will crush your head then the lord god said to the woman i will cause you to have much trouble when you are pregnant and when you give birth to children you will have much pain you will want your husband very much but he will rule over you then the lord god said to the man i commanded you not to eat from the tree but you listen to your wife and ate from it so i will curse the ground because of you you will have to work hard all your life for the food the ground produces the ground will grow thorns and weeds for you and you will have to eat the plants that grow wild in the fields you will work hard for your food until your face is covered with sweat you will work hard until the day you die and then you will become dust again i used dust to make you and when you die you will become dust again adam named his wife eve he gave her this name because eve would be the mother of everyone who ever lived the lord god used animal skins and made some clothes for the man and his wife then he put the clothes on them the lord god said look the man has become like us he knows about good and evil and now the man might take the fruit from the tree of life If the man eats the fruit he will live forever so the lord god forced the man out of the garden of eden to work the ground he was made from the lord god forced the man to leave the garden then he put cherub angels and a sword of fire at the entrance to the garden to protect it the sword flashed around and around guarding the way to the tree of life